Well, former East Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert says Ken Paxton is dividing and destroying the state's Republican Party. Back in 2021, Gohmert announced he was leaving Congress so he could instead run for Texas Attorney General, all the while warning people that Ken Paxton was too corrupt and may one day face impeachment. I didn't run for AG just on a whim. It was trying to protect Texas from what I could see coming. It's been almost two years since Louis Gohmert announced he was running for Texas Attorney General instead of seeking re-election in the U.S. House, a seat he had easily won since 2004. Instead, Gohmert felt there was only one office he had to run for. I knew that he was dirty. I knew he would come after me playing the victim and making false allegations. But to me, it was a chance, and we're in real trouble. And we're seeing that. And he's likely going to be indicted after the primary when we can't replace him. Gomert would end up losing the primary, coming in fourth behind Paxton, George P. Bush, and Eva Guzman. I expected what had happened. I knew he had nine to ten million dollars, and I had one million. I had 30 days to try to make an impact when the two other Republicans running had had a year and a half or so. Um, so I knew it was a long shot. With Gomert's fear of an impeachment trial now a reality in Austin, the former congressman is sounding the alarm about Paxton and the party. This is ripping the party up, and that's what I really had hoped to avoid. We, we just can't afford to have Texas ripped apart. Specifically, Gomert says because of the state's importance to the nation. And when it comes to the 2024 race for the White House, he tells us he thinks a number of candidates would make good presidents, including Ron DeSantis and his friend Tim Scott. But he also thinks former President Trump could do the job. As long as he's careful. Some people complained about his tweeting. Uh, his biggest problem were those he trusted to hire good people around him. I don't think he'll make that mistake again. For Louis Gohmert, life outside of elected office includes speaking engagements across the country. Comparing himself to Paul Revere, he says he continues to fight for what he believes in. But will that fight ever take him back to elected office? I've learned not to emphatically say never, but I don't feel a calling to run for anything. Now, when it comes to Louis Gohmert's take on Paxton defining, dividing rather, the state's GOP, Texas Republican Party Chair Matt Rinaldi is rejecting that opinion, telling the Dallas Morning News it's common for unsuccessful opponents to have, quote, hard feelings.